I'm John Springer Miller from Knee Binding. I want to show you why knee bindings are so effective. Think of this as any ordinary binding. All alpine bindings work the same way. The toe releases sideways because the ski rotates around the heel of the boot. All ordinary bindings work this way, and even knee binding releases at the toe by re rotating around the heel. This binding happens to have a turntable, but it's no different than any ordinary binding. They all rotate around the heel to release at the toe. Problem is you have a rotation point and a lever. And if the lever gets shorter, it takes a lot more force. So the closer you get to the rotation point, the harder it is to get that to open until finally, if you're in the dead zone, no matter how much you work on it, it's not gonna rotate and open. It's just not gonna do it. Most ACL injuries happen because you get in the back seat, you bend your hips and knees, and you catch an inside edge. This often happens where you catch the tail and the tip at the same time, and the force resolves at or near the rotation point, which means it doesn't rotate. No matter what you do, it's not gonna open. Knee binding solves this by adding a second rotation point. We still rotate around the heel to release at the toe, but if you get closer and closer to the rotation point into what would be the dead zone, the ski binding will rotate around the toe to release sideways at the heel. It's the only binding in the world that can automatically seek out which rotation point to use, and therefore we don't have any dead spot. There is no position on this ski that the force can resolve where we, you won't get a reliable lateral release. And that's why we have been so effective at uh, solving this knee injury issue for the sport.